Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're going to cook freezer green beans. Well today I'm going to cook freezer green beans. This is six week beans. Uh, I've got two quart bags out of the freezer. Uh, these will last me for uh, two days. I'll basically eat a quart bag in a meal because I'm not eating anything but beans and cornbread and pickles and maybe an onion. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, fix six week beans. Now a lot of people make, take their green beans, they put them in a pot and they boil them and there's a whole lot of water left. Well that's just not an Appalachian way of doing that. Uh, they're a whole lot better if you cook that water completely out of them. So without talking it to death, let's go ahead and get it over here and let you see how we do Appalachian style green beans. What do you have to have to do Appalachian style green beans? Of course, you've got to have the green beans. These are right out of our garden. Uh, these are actually from 2017. This is 2019, so they're two years old. They'll be fine. Uh, they've been kept right in the freezer the whole time. Now, all you have to do is take them out of the bag. And sometimes they're hard to get out of the bag, but I don't worry about thawing them. Okay? The water is going to take care of thawing these. So you just pop that bag open. I don't save these bags. Pop that bag open. And this one. Come on. <clears throat> Don't be in that way. Okay. Be that way. Alright. Pop that bag open. And there's two quarts of green beans in the pot. Now, to cook these, I want to be a little bit of, of uh, mouthfeel. Now, if I had some bacon grease, I'd add bacon grease at this point, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to add just a splash. That was maybe a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then, after I do that, I need to add salt. Well, for every... every uh, quart of beans, I generally add two teaspoons of salt. And you can use culture salt. You can use uh, the regular table salt. I'm going to use regular table salt, just the iodized salt. You know, this. I'm just going to use regular table salt. And I'm going to put on about how much I think. Well, to let you see how much I think. There's one. And there's two. That's about four teaspoons. Okay. Now, we've got our oil. We've got our salt in there. We've got our beans in there. Now, I'm just going to add two quarts of water out of our nice antique mason jar. Two quarts of water out of this jar. You know, ball perfect mason. It's a beautiful jar. Anyway, uh, then we take it and put it on the stove at high. Now you need to have a tight fitting lid. Leave the lid on it, and you're going to cook all this water out. And when all the water's cooked out, these beans are going to be done. So let's get them over on the stove. All right, let's turn this eye on. And set it to high, because that's what we want. Put our beans on, and eventually those will thaw. And you really won't have to, uh, you really won't have to stir them until the beans all break apart. And then you want to stir them occasionally. But when they start getting down toward to where the water's all gone, you got to pay close attention. Don't be afraid to let your beans boil. See how these are boiling here. Uh, I like to use a slotted spoon when I go to stir. Take the top off. You'll notice they've already come apart. And now the objective is to cook all that water out. And sometimes I'll cock the lid so that steam can escape easier. All right, there we go. The beans are getting close. You can see, if I pull this back, that there's just a little bit of water 
So we want to keep moving them around and letting that water come off. Okay, here we go. Now you can see that there's quite a bit of water looks like, but the truth is most of that water has gone. So you've got to be real careful at this point, but you still want it out of there. You don't want to burn. See, I was leaving uh, unwet places on the, in, the, in the pan as I pull back. You don't want to get your stuff burned up. You set that pan. Keep moving these around some because that water is continuing to burn off. We've still got it on high. And I know I'm using a metal spatula, a metal thing in a Teflon skillet. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, when you pull back and it seems like you've got plenty of pan that's dry, then it'll be time to get these off. See that? Plenty of dry pan there. There's still a little water. But it's a little bit of everywhere. There's plenty of dry pan available. So I'm going to salt that right there and say it's time to plate up. Let's get tonight's dinner plated up. Uh, I went out in the garden earlier today and I found four or five little bitty uh, Roma tomatoes that were ripe that I could harvest. So I got those. They're probably the last of the tomatoes, but I got them. Now, these beans been cooked dry. They are. Now to go with that, some crystals, bread and butter pickles. Salt my tomatoes a little bit. Now I'm going to check the beans and see if I need to salt those. Nope, they're perfect. What's missing? Oh, yeah. Appalachian cornbread. So, if you like this kind of stuff, this homesteading kind of stuff, be sure to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes five times a week. Uh, we upload on Sundays. So now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing. And dinner.